In the recent third quarter earnings call, when discussing the Tesla semi truck, Elon described the demand for this semi as ridiculous. It's ridiculous because the operating costs of this big rig are so low that it would practically be foolish for companies not to use it. In addition, there's an insane feature in development that will get semi customers very excited. Tesla also announced plans to sell the semi to external customers soon, and more and more of these big rigs are being spotted. Here's what you need to know about the semi, and welcome to Tesla Car World. So as far as we know, the Tesla semi trucks are primarily used internally by Tesla to ship around 20,000 battery packs a day out of the Nevada Gigafactory to support vehicle production in Fremont. Some are getting delivered to Pepsi as part of an order of around 100, which Tesla may have already delivered to the company. Now, you might not know this, but a 500-mile semi is confirmed to weigh 23,000, while the 300-miler is 20,000 pounds. Real-world range has been demoed at 4 to 500 miles with a North American payload of 82,000 pounds with a 23,000-pound tractor and a 12,000-pound trailer with the 47,000-pound payload. Of course, this is just testing the gauge for best performance. On delivery trips, the semi's total payload will rarely reach its max to protect the vehicle and make it easier for drivers to operate. Now, you might think that the Tesla Semi is only targeting heavy freight transport companies because they'd be ordering large quantities of trucks, thus giving more profit for Tesla. While this is true, you may not know that the Semi will soon be available for external customers as confirmed earlier. Um, in parallel, as we showed in the, in the shareholders deck, we have started construction on the factory in Reno. Um, our first vehicles are planned for late 2025 with external customers starting in 2026. Recently, Elon said that the new Tesla semi-factory is being expedited, and we can see many areas gradually getting finished with the first finished exterior corners. This factory is expected to produce the first semis by the end of next year, starting before deliveries to outside customers in early 2026. The semi is going to get made at a very high volume, 50,000 units a year, and we're pretty sure that the new factory is entirely feasible to hit this number. In the last three months of this year, the number of semis still being produced for delivery to other customers, but we know that the companies have made reservations at five grand a reservation. And here's the list of companies and the number of semis that have been reserved. In the recent meeting, Tesla also frankly confirmed that the number of semis produced so far is 200 units. All Tesla semi vehicles are equipped with the necessary equipment for FSD. Henrik Zane's Giga Nevada semi-production update videos have shown the number of new semis going up every week, and if the facility continues to ramp up, it'll be making about a thousand semis by December. Now, if we say that the Tesla semi could help save tens of thousands of dollars each year thanks to FSD, it might be too early, but ultimately, that's the truth. Companies will not be under pressure due to a shortage of truck drivers, and self-driving technology will help reduce dependence on drivers, especially on long hauls. This lowers labor costs, saves on personnel expenses, and increases the driver's rest time. Drivers can still supervise while the self-driving system operates, helping reduce their workload and stress and minimizing the risk of accidents. Musk noted that the FSD will be a significant step forward in the safety for trucks. Yeah, now imagine seeing a Tesla semi with no driver in sight. Driving on the road, it sounds pretty eerie, right? But this is exactly what Tesla's aiming for. This is extremely important because at least FSD can help drivers after sleepless journeys, which can be a major cause of truck accidents. The number of orders is still increasing as more companies recognize the benefits of adding semis to their fleets. For example, Costco and Martin Brower recently tested the semi, although they were not on the pre-order list. We believe that the price of the semi is not cheap. Older reports of it being $250,000 as Pepsi paid $4.5 million for 18 semis. However, the truth is that outside customers might be paying less because, as Tesla said, customers can purchase semis with different variants and configurations that suit their needs as the manufacturer will provide them. Yeah, f fundamentally, if, if you've got a semi where, where the fully considered cost per mile for, for a ton of transport uh, is better than, say, a diesel truck, uh, any company that doesn't adopt uh, an electric semi will, will lose. According to what we know, the semi has already been tested by customers and consumes about 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, equivalent to 30 cents a mile. At six and a half miles, the driver spends three dollars and thirty cents. Now, for a diesel truck, one gallon gives six and a half miles and can cost up to three fifty. You may not see much of a difference, but the maintenance costs of the semi are going to be much lower compared to the other trucks. 
According to Dan Priestley, the semi-fleet has an uptime of 95%, including both scheduled and unscheduled maintenance. This has resulted in impressive outcomes, with one Tesla semi having gone over 248,000 miles, taking just 18 months to hit this number. This means you can drive the semi continuously for a long time before needing maintenance. Electric trucks like the semi are by nature simpler machines than their diesel counterparts. With no internal combustion engine, no transmission, and fewer moving parts, maintenance costs are a lot lower. Tesla estimates that its trucks will incur maintenance costs of about $0.10 cents a mile, or $50,000 over five years if you average 100,000 miles a year. In contrast, diesel needs more maintenance, like frequent oil changes, exhaust repairs, and engine maintenance. On average, maintenance for a diesel truck is about $0.20 cents a mile, or $100,000 over five years. Additionally, as older diesel trucks age, maintenance costs typically go up, while electric trucks like the Semi can maintain a more stable maintenance cost due to their simpler construction. If, if you're a transport company you don't use an electric, the Tesla electric Semi, you're just losing money. Why would you do that? <laughs> do you not like money? Okay. Uh, but if you do like money, then I recommend using the Tesla Semi. <laughs> In the logistics and transport industry, thin profit margins are often the norm. Every dollar saved in operations can significantly impact a company's net profit. One hidden cost factor that hasn't been mentioned is the battery replacement for the Tesla Semi, an essential part of the total operating cost of the vehicle. While Tesla's modern batteries are designed to be durable over time, wear and tear is inevitable, and that can lead to the need for battery replacement, particularly since the 900 kilowatt hour battery pack represents a substantial expense. With a warranty of up to 500,000 miles or eight years, Tesla commits to the battery's durability within that range. However, in reality, the battery's lifespan can go from eight to 15 years, depending on usage and charging habits. Ultimately, while Tesla's pioneered long-lasting battery technology, the investment required for a battery replacement remains a significant consideration for Tesla semi-owners. After bringing two semi-trucks from North America to Europe last month, Elon emphasized that the semi will eventually be available worldwide. Now, previously, we mentioned that the semi could only operate on North American roads due to its size and the regulations for trucks in Europe being a bit different. However, according to confirmations from members of the semi team, the version of the semi being produced at Giga Berlin will be adjusted in certain aspects. As you can see, trucks in Europe typically have a more boxy shape compared to those in the States, and the cabins are also a bit shorter. In the US, the Semi greatly benefits from its design based on Japan's Shinkansen high-speed train, with its elongated cabin allowing for an impressive drag coefficient of 0.22. Thanks to its better aerodynamics, Tesla has the opportunity to introduce the Semi in Europe as it can receive an additional allowance for overall length due to its aerodynamic cabin. But the Semi still needs to adjust its width as its current width of 2.6 meters exceeds the permissible limit in Europe of 2.55 meters. The Tesla team mentioned that they only need to make minor adjustments, such as modifying the wheel covers and turn signals to suit this market. In fact, from the very beginning, when the semi was still in design phases, Tesla aimed to create a big rig that closely adhered to international standards, meaning they wouldn't have to start from scratch or make extensive modifications to bring the semi from North America to other markets. As you can see, they have two semi-variants with ranges of 300 and 500 miles in two different sizes. The current versions also lack a sleeper, so when the semis arrive in Europe, they'll need to include a spacious sleeping area as per regulations, which will be set up with metal frames behind the cabin. According to Dan Priestley, the addition of a sleeper bed allows drivers to go on longer trips. It's no coincidence that Pepsi drivers have said that they don't want to go back to using diesel after driving a semi. Thanks to the independent front suspension and regenerative braking, drivers don't need to press the brakes even once throughout the trip. The cabin is spacious and gives easy access to controls. You got two screens in Tesla's best software. They also don't have to wait long for charging as the semi only takes 40 minutes to fully charge, during which time drivers can unload cargo or just take a break. Specifically, Pepsi drivers shared that they don't want to go back to driving any other type of truck after driving the semis. It offers such a great driving experience that there's nothing to criticize. Right now, Pepsi significantly expanded its Tesla semi fleet since the initial adoption. As of September, Pepsi is operating 86 semis across three warehouses in California. Another recent customer who shared a happy experience with a semi is DHL. After successfully testing Tesla's electric semi truck, DHL announced that they plan to incorporate this type of vehicle into their fleet once Tesla starts larger scale production. During a two-week trial over the summer, DHL Supply Chain USA integrated the electric truck into 5,000 kilometers 
of regular operations in Livermore, California. The trial included a 625-kilometer route fully loaded in a combined weight of 75,000 pounds or 34 tons, confirming the semi's capability to carry DHL standard loads over a long distance on a single charge. During testing, semi-trucks averaged 1.72 kilowatt hours a mile while traveling at average speed exceeding 80 kilometers an hour for more than half the time on the road. According to DHL, the results exceeded their expectations in Tesla's own assessment. The company stated they were excited to see drivers quickly gain confidence with a vehicle and take advantage of Tesla's smart features to help improve performance, comfort, and the overall driver experience. Another noteworthy case is NFI Industries, which conducted a 6,000-mile test back in September, achieving a performance rate of 1.64 kilowatt hours per mile on long-haul routes ranging from 250 to 400 miles, with 60% of the distance traveled at speeds of over 50 miles an hour. These real-world experiences, assessments, and data provided recently by three major companies offer compelling evidence of the performance, efficiency, and practical benefits of the Tesla Semi, reinforcing the argument that electric trucks can fully replace diesel ones, not just as a future possibility, but as a present reality delivering tangible benefits for early commercial adopters. The Tesla Semi is indeed an effective and promising solution in multiple respects, not only helping to protect the environment, but also offering financial benefits for transport companies. First, on the environmental front, the Semi plays a key role in reducing CO2 emissions. Although semi-truck big rigs make up only about 1% of all vehicles on the road, they're responsible for about 20% of emissions. Tesla Semi has the potential to make the largest environmental impact among Tesla's vehicles, with its electric motor replacing diesel ones, contributing to cleaner air and reduced pollution. It's no coincidence that many countries are increasingly prioritizing and offering a range of attractive policies for electric trucks. For example, California mandates that new trucks serving ports and rail yards must be electric starting in 2024, with all trucks required to be electric by 2035. Europe has also had to adjust numerous regulations to prioritize electric truck operations. The Tesla Semi also has a clear advantage in fuel costs. With a consumption rate of 1.5 to 2.5 kilowatt hours a mile, the Semi is economically superior to diesel trucks. For instance, with a total load of 75,000 pounds, as in DHL's testing, the Semi consumes about 1.72 kilowatt hours a mile. This makes the Semi a especially economical choice for transport companies, particularly since electricity costs are so much lower than fuel costs. As Elon Musk once said, if you like money, the Tesla Semi is a smart choice. Additionally, the Semi's regenerative braking system allows the truck to recover energy when going downhill or braking, reducing waste and saving fuel efficiently. The maintenance costs of the Tesla Semi are also a bit lower than traditional diesel trucks. Unlike diesel, the Semi has fewer moving parts, reducing the risk of breakdowns and extending the vehicle's lifespan. Electric trucks don't require oil changes and have regenerative braking systems, which help reduce wear and tear and extend the brake pad's life. As a result, companies can save considerably on long-term maintenance costs, reducing financial pressure. The Semi also offers a major convenience advantage during rest stops. Unlike diesel engines, which need to keep running to maintain amenities during stops, the Semi uses its battery to power small devices and heating systems, ensuring driver comfort without engine use. This not only minimizes engine wear, but also extends the vehicle's lifespan, enabling more efficient and comfortable long-haul journeys. Finally, the Tesla Semi represents a big step forward towards autonomous vehicles, bringing the potential to enhance road safety. While Tesla's full self-driving technology is still under development, autonomous trucks could offer a high level of safety, reducing accidents caused by human error. For example, there was an incident where a Semi caught fire on the highway and caused a 16-hour traffic jam just because the driver fell asleep. This incident raises concerns about driver health and safety, especially when they're frequently on those extended delivery routes. Additionally, the transport industry is facing a shortage of drivers, so Tesla's integration of FSD into semis could help alleviate this issue by reducing the number of drivers needed and improving the ability to meet delivery demands. With FSD, it's going to offer higher safety and faster delivery times, allowing transportation companies to increase profits and gain a competitive edge in logistics, where cost is a determining factor. Pepsi also reports that semi has become a valuable tool for retaining and recruiting drivers, with drivers expressing a strong preference for the Tesla Semi over traditional diesel trucks. Although the initial purchase price of the Tesla Semi may seem higher, its lower energy and maintenance costs offset the difference over time. The Semi has an estimated range of up to 500 miles when fully charged. 
This range is suitable for many regional trips, but for long-distance operations, careful planning is required for recharging. Ideally, operators should aim to recharge the battery when it gets to about 20-30% to capacity to ensure sufficient buffer capacity and avoid range anxiety. Charging infrastructure, like Tesla's Mega Charger network, plays an important role in minimizing that downtime. Depending on the charging station, the semi can recover up to 70% of its range in only about a half hour. However, the availability and location of charging stations can significantly affect route planning and logistics for fleets, especially longer routes. These considerations are really important for determining the number of trucks needed in a fleet to effectively cover specific areas. For companies operating long-haul routes, charging times and the presence of charging stations can pose logistical barriers. However, as electric vehicle infrastructure continues to get better, these challenges are likely to diminish over time. So, we want to ask you, what do you think about the Tesla Semi? Does this electric truck truly meet the expectations for performance and cost savings in operations? And is it going to be able to replace traditional diesel trucks in the next 10 years? Thanks for watching our video. And listen, if you found the content helpful and want to explore more exciting info about Tesla EVs, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video. Also, make sure you're subscribed to Tesla Car World and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos. We appreciate your support and hope to see you back here soon. Thanks again for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. Goodbye.